What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the I Formation Podcast here with Ben Hall, my guy, the Ron McLean. Um, we got a lot to talk about this week. It's a great oh, week baby. of football. We got we got our gear. We're wearing it. Um, shout out to Leron. <laughs> uh, but before we start, how you doing today, Leron? Man, I'm good. I'm good, man. Bless, man. Bless, man. Good to be back on here another week. Man, thank you, everybody that watched the show last week, man. Get ready for some great content this week on episode eight with us, man, me and my guy, Ben. Man, again, man, follow us on all platforms, man. I form, uh, I form podcasts on Twitter, Affirmation Podcast on everything else. Man, be looking forward to this gear coming out. Y'all gonna be able to buy it soon. You know what I'm saying? But, man, let's get ready, man. The the, the coin toss has been, we won it. We on offense first. We fit to go score <laughs> first quarter. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Speaking of that, just like the Ravens did on Monday night, Won the coin toss overtime, went not field score. We're gonna start off with that Ravens Colts game, which was yes, yes, insane. I, that that game was a surprise both ends. One to start off, the Ravens went down so bad, and it looked like the Ravens were gonna get killed, and they somehow come back and win the game. Um, ah, Lamar Jackson, y'all yeah. know how we defend him on here, but that's really the story. Of everything, Lamar threw for four hundred and forty some yards. Uh, was had the best completion percentage in a game where a quarterback throws for four hundred plus. Um, yeah. He threw thirty seven for forty three, and led the Ravens in a comeback throwing the ball. Everybody, that's the saying. He can't do that. He can only run the ball. You guys look stupid Monday night. Lamar <laughs> did it. It was an awesome game, but it, it was he just dominated, great to see. man. He dominated. It was it was a great game, man. Just to see. You uh just to see Lamar in, in that situation, you know, I was so I was uh just watching it on and off. I had to start turning the TV, man, when we got down a little bit, you know, uh just just frustrated. But Lamar is just like he it just like it clicked with him, it clicked with him in the game, man, and like he just had control. And I just said, man, we really about to win. We were uh the Ravens really about to win this game, man. And uh shout out to Lamar over 500 yard total, man, four TDs, like you said, 87%. Throwing, broke a record, you know what I'm saying? Franchise record throwing at the I say he cannot throw, calling him a time. running back. Bill Polian, you know, not to shout him out on this show, but Bill Polian, he is he is not a running back, as Your you can clown. see. <laughs> and, and that's why I say, man, Lamar been Lamar, Lamar been Lamar been working. You can tell he's been working, been been uh been doing everything he can, man. He's leading his offense, man. It, it, it's scary. It's gonna be scary. It's scary heading forward, man. It's, it's scary. Uh, another thing, um, before we move on to what we're going to talk about next, the, the Ravens' defense really struggled. And Did he? Pop? I, I, what'd, you, what'd, what'd you say? Hold up. Let's see. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I, I bet. All right, but I'll cut that part out. Um, but I was going to say, the Ravens' defense really struggled on, um, on Monday night, and right. it just seemed like every time they came on the field, there wasn't much confidence. It just seemed like the Colts were like, you know what, we're going to go right down the field. And it was with ease, like whether they were running the ball, whether Wentz was Carson Wentz, who really hadn't played well this year, was dotting them up. Um, and it just, yeah. I don't know, it just looked like a lack of confidence. We know the Ravens defense every year always brings it. And um, on Monday night, they just looked a little bit disappointing. Yeah, look, look a little bit off balance. Uh, I know I was going to say that, man, just the defense, uh, if the defense come on with it, just do what they got to do. I know Lamar had to do that, but, you know, the coach just was doing what they wanted to. Uh, making it was big plays too, making big plays on uh, on the defense. So just something they need to work on this week. You know what I'm saying? Something they need to work on getting ready going forward. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but but jumping out of that into the next uh, topic, we'll be talking about whether Carson Wentz the, the trade for the Colts, the Carson Wentz trade was worth it. I'm gonna mm. say yes, it was. They gave up yeah. two um, day two picks, which is a third rounder and a conditional second, I believe. Um, so really not that much, like not that expensive. You're not giving up a first round pick. Um, you know, you could get a good guy in the second or third round, uh, for sure. Yep. You can get a good guy in any round, but really for, for a starting caliber quarterback, uh, MVP quarterback, like Wentz, um, before, before Monday, I still would have said it was worth it, but I would have been kind of, eh, he's really not doing much, but what he did against that Ravens defense on Monday night just impressed me. Um, like I yeah. said, he didn't get the win. But he he impressed me, and I definitely 
would have to say this trade was very, very much worth it for a Colts team who, after Phillip Rivers retired, was looking for a quarterback kind of like Wentz and the way he played on Monday night. To be honest, I thought they'd go ahead and call Phil down there in Mobile and tell Phil to go get his helmet because Carson Carson uh, started off kind of rough, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Carson Wentz, man. He had a great game uh, against the Ravens, man. They just, uh, you know, the, the defense just had to do their job, you know, and Carson would have came out a uh, hero. So I know he was probably kind of frustrated. Something to build on with Carson, you know, uh, he's I think he's getting into his groove. Uh Man, Ben was a great player, man. Right, and like you, like you said, in Philly, man, on the MVP uh, track, man, before he got hurt and Nick Foles took over. But you know, the guy getting in this groove, man, and uh, and like you said, the man, it was good. It was good. Uh, great trade for the coach. Too yeah, bad. Yeah, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. They call Lamar on Monday night, though. Too bad. Yeah, he got unlucky, and I think I think this Colts team is a little bit better than their record shows. You know, they're one and four, like. Looks like they're yeah. terrible, but I still think they got a shot at uh, winning some games and maybe making a run to make the playoffs um, in that division, which the Titans haven't played as well as everybody thought they would. They've been dealing with injuries. So if the Colts can get hot here um, and play like they did the first three quarters of Monday Night Football, they will make a shot, have a shot at making the playoffs, I fully think. Um, but moving on from that, we will now jump into, um, real quick, Sunday's game. Before we jump in, we're going to be doing our top five quarterbacks each after this. But Sunday's game, the Ravens are taking on the Chargers. This is a huge, oh my God. Oh huge my God. matchup. Huge matchup. Oh my God. We'll give a quick, I'm trying, we'll give a quick man, prediction. So, what, what's, so, what's so crazy, man? I'm trying my best. I'm up here trying to figure out how can I how can I get up there to that game. You know, so come my son's birthday. Shout out to you know, Austin, Austin Jeremiah McClain turning eight. Turn the eight Friday, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get up there to that game, but I might just have to get them tickets for him and his mom, you know, because we're, we're in the playoffs. We're in the playoffs down here. I'm coaching little Stampede seven and eight year old. So, man, it's going to be a big game, man. Her versus Lamar, two two young quarterbacks going at it, two, two uh, great teams led by some uh, t- uh, young coach with Harbaugh being like the veteran coach, him doing his things for yep. so long. You know what I'm saying with the Ravens, man. I, I don't even know where, which which way I'm going yet, man. You know what I'm saying with this game, and I'm, I said I want to be in the building, man. I want to be in the building. Shout out to my guy Brian, uh, uh, uh Barbley, man, with the uh, KBF Foundation. I he he going. He, I don't know who he gonna go for either, man. Him, me and him got we got to decide. <laughs> uh, see that that game is just so. I don't. It, it's so up in the air, and right now the Ravens are the favorite, which I kind of surprised me a little bit just because the Chargers have been playing exceptionally well. Um, But I guess you could say, like, the Browns game, the Chargers defense just didn't show up. Chargers offense, one of the best in the NFL by far. It's clear. But the defense, you know, allowing 40-plus points to the Browns, that was what kind of kept the game close. Um, Herbert, in in our quarterback rankings, you'll see how high we view him. I'm sure LeBron's going to have him high. But I got him real high, especially high with the way he's playing right now. Um, but, yeah. but like I said, that game is a toss up. Uh, we'll have to wait to our live video. It's a toss up, man. Yeah, we'll we'll wait to our live video. We will be back next Sunday with it. Yep, man, man. The Ravens versus Chargers, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great game. The bank, the bank gonna be rocking, man. The bank gonna be rocking. I'm, a, I'm, a, man. I hope I can get you that game. Just, I, I just wish I could jump in the car and come down the street to it. <laughs> yeah, that, that that definitely will be a good one. Um, but now before we wrap up the first quarter, we're gonna do a, a quick uh, – we're each going to give our top five quarterbacks rankings right now. We're doing right now in the NFL this season. Um, they, that, that is our rankings. We're not doing overall and, and how they performed last yeah. year. We're doing based yeah, on this right year's now, Right now, right now. Yeah, yeah. How they, how they playing right now through uh, five games. Five games yep. in, we're going to give our top five quarterbacks. And, uh, you Ben, you can start you off. Just, you want oh, me to start? Oh, I'll right. start. Oh, I'll start. Right. I'll right, start. Man. All right, sorry. So, all right, I'm going five. I'm going five to one. Uh, my number five is uh, Dak Prescott. I got Dak Prescott, the way that he's playing, the way that he's coming back, salute to him. Number four, man, I got the GOAT, man, Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? The way that he's playing, throwing his uh, throwing his name. I will have Tom number one, but it's, a, it's three young guys, man, that's doing their thing. First off, uh, number three, Josh Allen. The way that he's throwing that ball, got that offense rolling uh, with Buffalo. Number two, man, it's number two and number one. I was I was kind of 
I was kind of rocking with it. But after Monday night, it's a clear number one to me. Herb is number two. I heard I got Herb number two from the Chargers, man. And I gotta go with Lamar number one, man. Lamar number one, the way that he's playing right now. He's throwing a ball over 500 yard total. And I just want people to understand it was 442 yards uh passing, 50 yards rushing, four TDs, man, throwing yep. the ball. So shout out to Lamar, man. He's my number one quarterback uh going uh after five games so far this season, baby. <laughs> so now for my mine are pretty close. I got number five, I have Kyler Murray. Um just based okay. off he's got his team in, win is, right. wins yeah. and losses aren't wins and losses aren't a quarterback stat but I got to give it to him you know he's winning games yep. and he's playing playing very well um number four I'm going one, with Dak. That, that, yeah. that, that was a good one I I, I I agree with you on that one that's a good one that was because I had him down then right. I took him up I agree with you on that one yes sir so number four I'm going with Dak um Dak is just been so polished coming into a year where people said what was going on with his shoulder? Will he be healthy? Like he threw all of that stuff away and has just performed. Like that is extremely impressive. You called it coming into the year. The Cowboys would, yeah. um, would be good. And he was going to be good. And I was one of those people that was like, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And he has just shut all that talk up, came out, performed well, and has the Cowboys. The Cowboys are by far the team to beat in the NFC East without a doubt. Yeah. They are the team there. They're going to win I that agree. division hundred percent. Um, but after Dak at number three, I have Josh Allen, uh, okay. just kind of like you said, Josh Allen's played very good. Um, after beating he the balling. Chiefs, he told them Chiefs up. Ooh, bad, bad salute, Josh Allen. You tore him up, baby. Ooh. Outplayed Patrick Mahomes by a mile. Yeah, outplayed man. Patrick Mahomes by a mile. Like, it's like, it's like Patrick close. Mahomes. Just, I, I don't know if he, I, I know he probably knows the money, and that was cool, but. Yeah, but if it's not if it's not man to man, who is rough out there? It's it is, rough. and they're on it. They're on it. These teams and are they're on it. it. They're on it. But um, number two, I'm going with Lamar. Uh, I just okay. I don't know. Like, you know how I defend Lamar, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um sit here and I say. Almost ran, like, I almost ran. I almost ran the almost ran alarm for a second. He put Lamar <laughs> number two. <laughs> no, see Lamar. The, but this sat this Sunday, um, this will tell who's one or two mm-hmm. for me. It's not a question yep. between one or two yep. right now. Like one and two are Herbert and Lamar. Um, yep. but this Sunday, like I don't know. I, I feel like I've been so biased towards the Ravens and Lamar. So I'm gonna try to switch something up yeah, and make y'all more you. happy, I I'll guess. So Herbert uh is number one, Lamar number two, both of them, but it's one A, one B. Like, yeah, Herbert is just doing his thing, Lamar is doing his thing. Like like I said, one A, one B. Um, we'll we'll see how it how Sunday plays out. If if Lamar leads the Ravens to a win and, and plays good, Lamar will be number one. Herbert will be number two, and vice versa. Okay. Goes the other way. Herbert, like I said, it's one A, one B. Yeah, Herbert take over for me, man. Going on the road in the bank, being Lamar yep. in his house. I t- I put Herb over him then. It'd be yep. like like you said, one A, one B, man, because they both balling, man. Hundred percent for sure. Um, but now that is it for our first quarter. Second quarter, we'll be jumping into all of the games this past Sunday and kind of what we think about some teams right now and, and how teams are playing. But uh, before that, we'll be jumping into a trivia question and then we'll be jumping into the second quarter. All right, so all right. for the first game, the Rams-Seahawks, uh, the big problem here for the Seahawks is Russell Wilson. Um, if he stays in the game, they got a real shot at beating the Rams yeah. on Thursday night. Yep. But uh, broke his hand, now he's out for some time. Geno Smith will be playing quarterback. Man, it's not looking good in Seattle. Yeah, man, Seattle looking crazy, man. I hate that uh, Russell Wilson uh, hurt his hand. It was worse than what I thought when I saw him in that chair with that big fan cast on his arm. I was like, oh, man. But uh, salute to uh, Geno Smith, man. He stepped in, man, had a, had a good game, made some good plays for him. So hope going forward, man, they can uh, get that thing going. Shout out to the Rams uh, doing their thing against the neon uniforms. That thing was, mm-hmm. was kind of fresh out there. They were fresh, yeah. but – uh. Uh, the Rams did a thing, man, Stafford uh, in that offense. So now for our next game, the Saints versus the football team. This was actually a good game, um, watching through red zone. Um, yep. New Orleans was – this was the good New Orleans we saw. Like, like every week for New Orleans, they've either been on their A game or they've played like abs- absolute garbage. Um, like, I guess the Giants, like losing at home to the Giants. That was their bad game, and then they come here and beat the football team pretty handily. So uh, Jameis looked good. 
big, big play before uh, before the half to Marquez Callaway threw up the Hail Mary. Callaway went up and caught it. Um, so they took down Washington football team in Washington. This was a big win for them to get to three and two. Uh, and they're one of their big rivals in their division, the Panthers lost. So that definitely helps them out looking in and standings wise. Yeah, 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 man. That was uh, uh, oh, man, awesome game, awesome game. Like you said, you don't know what team you gonna get uh, when you're coming to the game with them Saints, man. But shout out to them, man, for getting the job done and, you know what I'm saying, getting another win in their division. Um, now jumping into the Bucks dolphins game, this was a blowout. Tom Brady played like <laughs> – Lights wow. out, lights out. Like 400 he was 24, plus passing not 44. Yards. Yeah, 400 plus passing yards and five touchdown passes for man, Tom Brady, I think, I think, who is 40 I, years old. Yeah, man, I think that was one. I think that was one of them games, man. He had him, uh, had him re, uh, uh, read that defense out, had him figured out, man. Uh, saw some on film, man. He was in his groove, in everybody. For real. Um, jumping into the next game, the Packers Bengals. This was the most. Bad kicking performance mm. I've ever seen from Mason Crosby in my life. Like that was he was one of the one of the looking at looked at as one of the was best it the kickers. win or I don't know was it the win even the rookie for the Bengals was missing kicks like it, yeah it was crazy it was crazy and this game to me honestly showed me the Bengals are real they played the Packers to a three point game and really should have won the game at some points um you know if their kicker yeah. makes a kick they win uh Joe Burrow is dealing with a tough injury same as. Awusu Koromoa for the Browns. It's uh, something with their lung. Um, hopefully they have a, a, a healthy recovery. Um, I think Burrow's still playing, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what goes on with that. But Joe Burrow balled out. Uh, mm-hmm. The Bengals balled out, and they only lost by three to a four and one Packers team, which just really impressed me. Yeah, man. That's uh, man, Joe, Joe and Chase, man. Joe, Joe and Chase in that offense, man. They're doing what they, uh, they want to do. Like it's just something to build on. They're getting better. You know what I'm saying? Took uh, like you said, the Packers down to the thing, came down to the kicking. Come on, rookie man, you make the thing. You let Joe be, you let Joe be Aaron. But tough, tough game, man. You know, knowing come down to inches, man. You know, so uh, that's something to build on for Cincinnati, man. And you know, Packers got away with a with a close victory. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, jumping into our next game, the Steelers Broncos. Oh, the Steelers beat the Broncos. Uh, Treat it like their Super Bowl. They 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 think. Yeah. Oh, the, I don't. The Broncos just didn't look good. Too, yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I think uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong. The Broncos they didn't look good against Pittsburgh. I ain't want to just say, like, man, did did we did everybody figure Broncos out right now? Yeah. But you know, uh, shout out to the Steelers, man. They came out playing just like you know, say you expect the Mike Tomlin team to play. Yep. You yep. know, but uh, I hope it's something they can build on. I hope it's just ain't a one week fluke. You know, what I'm saying it's not something that we're gonna carry. Uh, carry on on about the Steelers. So we're yeah. going on. We're going to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, but now jumping into the Eagles Panthers game. <laughs> yeah, you know how we feel about the Steelers on here. Yes, y'all, man, y'all yeah, know. They won. They they act like they won the Super Bowl. We'll see you next week. They're playing the Seahawks with Geno Smith. So if Geno can take them down, maybe their fans will realize. Okay, we are not it. But. Jumping into the next game, the Eagles versus Panthers. Uh, the Eagles got it done. I yeah. Sam Darnold played like the Sam Darnold I know, and <laughs> that yeah, that, it was that he struggled. He three picks, one touchdown, one hundred seventy yards. Chubber Hubber played really good on um, running back, backup running back for the Panthers. He yeah. will probably get way less carries coming up though because McCaffrey will be back, but. For the Eagles, this was a huge win. I mean, yeah, everybody yeah. in the world thought they would lose. They, they had no shot on the road. And they go, come back. I mean, at one point, it was it looked like over. They come back um, from, I think they were down 12. Yeah. Uh, force a few turnovers and, and win the game. Hurts didn't play exceptionally well throwing the ball or any of that. But he did what he needed to to get the job done. And that was a major win for the Eagles. Yeah, man, shout out Jalen Hurts, man, the way that he played on the road, tough environment. You know, like you said, Sam played the way that, you know what I'm saying, we, uh, Sam played and like he had a flashback or something like that. But shout out to the Eagles, man. You can't take it another way for them. On the road, big win. That's something to build on, you know what I'm saying, with them with the uh, game that they have coming up tonight. Um. So now jumping into the Browns-Chargers game, I 47-42. Oh, to 42. Man, nice. 
crazy. Also, that no crazy. defense. No. Browns, man, it was, it, was, it was crazy. If I if I can say something, Browns ran a man like the Browns just. It, 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 it was a crazy game going back and forth. I, I expected uh, the Chargers to, you know what I'm saying, do what they had to do. But with the Chargers scoring, excuse me, as many points as, uh, as, uh, as they did, man, I was like, man, that offense high power. Defense just figure out something. But shout out to the uh, Cleveland Browns in that run game, man, leading the, leading the league, man. They are running that ball, baby. <laughs> I love it. Their I love second it. second running know, back ran a, for 60 yards. Like, that's crazy. Man, it's crazy, man. They're toting that ball, man. Uh, shout out, shout out to that run game. I, I love that run game and Dallas run game, man. Like with the, yep. with, the with the dual back, man. The Holland, dual yep. back. I love that. I love that. Um, but a, a crazy stat from this game I read. This was Baker's third time losing when the offense scored 42 points. That is yes. insane. That's insane. And that's like a jinx. Is it, I think it's like a like a jinx on him or something like that. Or because he, he scored points on offense, man, but it's just like his defense can't, you know what I'm saying, come through for him, you know what I'm saying? And, and I don't know, man. I, I know I saw on TV earlier, they said he, he's better off the field with with uh, OBJ on the on the sideline. He's better when he's on the sideline because when he's on the sideline, he's just trying to press it to him. So they said they need to trade OBJ before the uh, deadline, November 2nd. That'd be crazy. I, I see it coming. Because a a player of OBJ's um, that has the talent that OBJ has, and and OBJ has made the name for himself, so we know yeah. he is a superstar in the league. He had three targets, um, two catches for twenty yards. Something's not going on right there. I don't know yeah, what it crazy, is. That OBJ two catches twenty yards. That's with. Get my man uh, the ball. That's the all. That's yeah. all. That's what we're trying to say. Get yeah. my man the freaking ball. He running the routes. You know that. Make some form. It don't matter. Put him anywhere, man. Get my man the ball, man. And the Y'all one play the, he had an easy touchdown. Ball, Baker threw the ball. Baker just threw the ball away. I don't. I don't get it. You know. You know I'd be, but you. I don't know. I don't know. I hope, hope everything get going up the Browns because I like the Browns, man. I like that defense, man. I like the defense. Shout out to Mac Wilson and all them boys over there on that defense. But now, jumping into our next game, the upset. The Bears took down the Raiders. Justin Fields. Oh, man. They, he didn't really get much opportunity to throw the ball. Um, but the Bears' defense just came yes. out and played ball, balled out. Just yep. played exceptionally well. Um, I got them. Fields, I got look, look, I got them over the Packers Sunday. That's my upset. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. I like yes, that, yes. especially, yeah. <laughs> they at home, too. With that defense, like just like you said, the critical thing you said was that defense, the way that they played against the Raiders. Same type of offense, all passing down the field. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yep. see. Let's see. Let's see. And, Fields and makes the plays. If, if if Fields could just if they gave Fields a little bit more opportunity and and he was able to do what we know he's capable of doing, that Bears team will make the playoffs. Like I don't care what anybody says. If Fields gets a little bit more opportunity and get put into a little bit better, better of a situation in terms of play calling and stuff, that team is – if that defense stays like that and Fields is put in a situation we know where he can excel, yep. that team will make the playoffs. I, I'm 100% yep. sure of it. Uh, I don't know how, how they'll do it, but, um, but they will. And moving on to the Arizona uh, Cardinals-San Francisco 49ers game. Great game, great divisional matchup. 49ers fall yep. two and three. Arizona moves to five and zero oh for the first time since nineteen seventy four. Arizona, that is crazy. Mm. Forty year, I had him. I had him win the division, and now it's starting to look like they got a real, real shot to win that division. Yeah, and, and it's early, and that's and that's what I be uh, trying to. I was explaining the other day, and trying to tell like man, these early wins that they're getting is big for them, and they're getting ahead. The you know what I'm saying? The yep. thing K one is doing this thing with that offense, man. The Cardinals look pretty good. I think this is what everybody expected yep. with all the acquisitions they got on defense, and you know what I'm saying. But I I didn't know like you know we talking about L Lamar too. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, K one should have been on. He, he's 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 part of that list too because he's been yeah. Kyler Murray been doing this thing at quarterback also. Uh, jumping into the next game, the the Cowboys Giants. Not much to talk about except for Trayvon Diggs has been balling. He's had Man, one balling. or more interceptions in five straight games. That is crazy. That's insane, man. Insane, man. The way that he's playing on defense, the way that the defense is playing. Shout out to, man, the Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott, and their offense. 
Ezekiel Knight, man, and uh, that run game. He got his back up. He got Dallas Cowboys got two running backs in the top 10 in rushing. Also, Lamar Jackson is, is in that top 10. He has nothing to do with this. I'm just throwing that in there. Quarterback. Got to throw it in that. We 10. have to. You already know. And he just threw for, and he just threw for 442 last. No, my, no, my, no, my. But, but shout he's a out to back. Da- Shout out to Dallas. Shout out to Dallas. <laughs> shout out to Dallas. Uh, and uh, everything, uh, everything they doing that offense, man. Saying the way that they're flowing, man. CD Lamb on the outside, man. Mark Cooper, man. Like they're 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 powerful out there in the NFC. Um. So now for our last game of the week that we will be talking about, the Bills Chiefs. Man, I don't want to um, overreact, but are the Chiefs making the playoffs? Man, that is a big. That is a good question. That's a good Two question. And three? I, I hope they do. With these teams that didn't beat them in this split, man, I, I don't know how they looked against the Buffalo Bills. I don't know if the Bills had them figured out, but Josh Allen was doing his thing. They're running the ball, they were passing it on defense. They couldn't get nothing going. Like I'm like, like come on, like what, like what's going on? And like, and, and and Patrick Patrick said they might they they trying to go twenty and zero. You know what I'm saying? Twenty yeah, and zero. So geez, y'all better come on. Oh, he got it. It looked. It looked I like he might got his on. money. And <laughs> got better come on. <laughs> it looks like he got his money, and, and I'm not even gonna say. Ooh, Mahomes is not looking normal. It's, it's crazy. Just, I think they got. I, man, they said like I saw a quote saying people said they uh said they had Lamar figured out. Look like they got Patrick figured out. Yeah, Lamar you know looks clean. Like, Patrick don't look too good. Man, it, it look, it look, it look, it look, it look wild, man. So I know, I know it's early in the season, man, and we're just getting going. So you know, anything can happen. It can turn it around, and we might be talking different. You know, what I'm saying in a few yep. weeks down to episode twelve or thirteen or something like that, or fourteen. You know, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, but like, I'm not saying it. Like, I know people will say we're overreacting, but honestly, looking yeah. at their schedule, they play Washington this week. That should be a win. Then they play Tennessee week seven, which is up in the air. Green Bay yeah. week nine up in the air. Up in the air. Uh, Dallas week eleven up in the up air. Hell. Uh, Charger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. If, if they play like they have in any of the games, Dallas will beat them. Uh, yep. and, and Diggs will have a, two picks that week. Yep. Matter of fact. Yep. Um, and then like Charger. the Chargers again. That's that right there could be four losses if they win the games they're supposed to. That would be four losses. I, I think they would lose. So that that'll be yeah. ten and seven. Like that's just not. My they ain't gonna do it, it in out, that baby. division. I'm telling you, no. they ain't gonna do it in that division, baby. Not gonna do it in that division. And I want to shout something out real quick. Um, I think I remember. I think I could go back and find it. Somebody said that the Chargers were gonna finish the NFL with the best record, and there were a lot of people commenting, saying, "Are you crazy? Are you outside your mind?" Somebody was right. I, I think LeBron might have been right on that one. Man, and, I'm and telling you, they they win it. They and man, they know how to win them close games, man. That's why I said I'm looking for this weekend. It's supposed to be – it's crazy that both of these teams are supposed to be undefeated. Yep. You know what I'm saying? One lost to Dallas, the other one, I think, with the Raiders on it. You know what I'm saying? The yep. Raiders game. But, like, they both supposed to be – they're about to be a great game in USC. You know what I'm saying? I think who going to be, you know what I'm saying, the top out. Not not taking nothing from Josh Allen and the Bills, you know what I'm saying, nothing like that, any other AFC team. But these two teams Sunday, they're going to be a great matchup. Yeah, for sure. Um, and this is this is a matchup that we could see come again during the playoffs in a couple months from now, uh, between the Chargers and the Ravens. But yeah, that is it for the second quarter. Uh, we'll take a halftime break and then we'll be jumping into some big NFL news that's that's came about lately. Whoa, 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 whoa. man, crazy halftime, baby. Halftime. So now jumping into the third quarter, uh, some big news was brought across. Man, the Ravens game is going on. You know me trying to watch my Ravens play, getting excited crazy. every five seconds. John Gruden, John Gruden, John Gruden. Lamar, throw, Lamar starts his comeback, John Gruden, John Gruden. So this came about um, over the weekend, I believe is when it first – no, I think it was last week. Um, when it first came out that his comments about the NFLPA – uh yeah the, the uh yeah the director NBA president yeah director president. yeah president yeah mr. Um, smith, mr smith yeah so so he made a uh a, a ignorant racist comment um which he claims wasn't racist and then more more uh information comes out that he said stuff about um michael sam who was 
the yeah. the the player basically said ignorant stuff about him. Um, and then there's been connections but, to him about some other stuff. Yeah, like, it's just it's not bad. looking good. Yeah, like like it's just piling and, up. And and what's crazy is what's crazy. I think they found this information when they was investigating the watching the football team. I can't wait Snyder. to see what comes out about them. You know what I'm saying? They was looking at his emails and he was he sent his emails to them. So he sent it to his colleagues. So yep. this man was on TV in 2011, you know what I'm saying, calling games and he's sending emails like this to his colleagues and yep. it was okay. That's why I said before they hired him in um, Las Vegas, I think some people saw these emails and y'all was okay with it. I didn't yep. think, I think Dan Snyder to get the heat off his team, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And I don't know, I don't know if this is true or not, it's just me, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying, looking at the scene. I think Dan Snyder, I think they leaked it. I think they leaked it on group just to get just to get the heat off him when they when you know what I'm saying the NFL made the investigation. Yep. I don't know what the I don't know what the hell, excuse my language on this. I might get a little mad, but I don't know what the hell wrong with Gruden. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know, I, I I I always thought he was up, you know, that uh I remember coming out, he was at Temple Bay then. That was one of my first visits, you know what I'm saying, coming out of college. Mm-hmm. I thought he always was a uh, you know what I'm saying, upscale guy, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I think different now, you know what I'm saying, for seeing yep. what he wrote, but a lot of people approved that before he got, you know what I'm saying, hired. I think the only thing that made him get fired is when he called Goodell, you know what I'm saying, uh, the homophobe. Yeah, homophobe, that's homophobe, the, homophobe, yeah. Slur, you know what I'm saying, yep. calling Goodell. He ca- called Goodell, he called Goodell a faggot. You yep. know what I'm saying, that's what he did, call Goodell a faggot in the email. You know what I'm saying, and, 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 and uh, uh, anti something else. I ain't gonna say that on here, but yeah. guy was like, he was like mad, like, and this the yeah. way that he feel, like, then he talking, then you up in front of people talking in front of people, you know what I'm saying, in front of your African American players, and you you feel like this about our NFL PA president, you know, I don't approve of everything mm-hmm. that our NFL PA president, but I'm not for the name call a guy. He's still a right. man at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, does his thing. But Groove man, I, I just. I wish them well. I hate, I mean, they did what they had to do with the Raiders by letting them go. It was so crazy how it popped up on that screen. I was like, I was so, I was like, oh my God. Like, this just bye. dropped right now. Yeah. You know, but shout out, shout out to Rich Versace, man. I was with Rich in, uh, in uh, San Diego. He's a good interim coach. He's going to have them guys ready, you know what I'm saying? Oakland caring for. But man, that, that, them emails is going, they said it's more. They said it's more, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I said dig deep, man. Get all that shit. I want to see. Yeah, matter of fact, right. Dig yeah. deep, man. I want to see Jerry Jones emails too, like they said. But hundred percent. That hundred percent. Man, I know people. Man, it's just so crazy. You just gotta be careful these days. You don't want to just say the wrong thing and people bring up. You know what I'm saying? Like this is all the way back in 2011. It's just a 2011 email just don't resurface, man. And it was so hard to get. Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton uh, emails. Oh, uh, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with this. We, we going to bring that into this. <laughs> no, but but for real, they're like, looking at it, um, I don't, I don't understand uh, if, if Gruden, um, why Gruden's sending that in an email, let alone, mm-hmm. then he's, his a player on his team. Matter of fact, he has a bunch of African Americans on his team. He's talking oh, bad about my them. God. But then he has yeah. a, openly gay player on his team that imagine being him like that day you find out that oh my gosh i was looking at this guy as a good guy he's my coach yes and shout out to him man my guy he had to take a day to day because he dealing with a lot like that's that's mentally like yep you gotta do already it was a lot for my my guy coming out you know what i'm saying in the locker room now it's a lot that man i was in this locker room this whole time and my coach probably going home and right Looking at me crazy, talking about me crazy behind doors, making making you know what I'm saying jokes about me and shit, and like I know that's mentally on him, yep. you know what I'm saying, like challenging man. So sorry, shout out to him, man. Just keep balling, balls. Keep getting to that quarterback. Keep doing yep. what you're doing, man. Grew an asshole, man. Yep. That was messed up, bro. That's that. that that's crazy. You asshole. Excuse my language, man. Excuse my language, kids. But that that don't make no sense, man. That email. It just shows, man, that you're not a man. Like, like a, a man doesn't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, does, doesn't does do stuff like that. Yeah, man, that's that's weak, man. I understand that if you got beef, because everybody did not like, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Smith, you know what I'm saying, the president of NFLPA. It's players that don't like him. But I'm not finna get up here and, you know what I'm saying, call name, call this man, get to yeah. the point of name, call this man, you know what I'm saying? I, I call this man outside his name, man. He still got a family to feed and, 
you know what I'm saying? Still got to walk around here as a man, you know what I'm saying? So, yep. grew man, bye, bro. Like, daddy, get, yeah, get him a bye. He had to, like, and dude broke his neck to go get you and hire you. And, you know what I'm saying? They said he was building a house, 4.3 million house right next to Derek Carr. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be an awkward exchange when they go into the mailbox. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but, like, they got, oh, um, there, there are a couple of players, like, kind of defending him. I understand, like, some of them are saying, like, some of them are saying, like, yeah, you got to get second chances or whatever. But, like, it's just adding up. Like, it's getting to the point where he's got so much stuff out that it's, he's not getting no other chance. Like, but I will say, one thing I will say about everything, um, air everybody out because is Gruden wrong? Yes. Is there any defending him? No. But other people are going to be in the wrong, too, and they better get put out there, too, because – yep. The Washington football team's got some got some shit, excuse me, got some oh. stuff going on. <laughs> <You said laughs> they, they, got, got, they got some S H Y T, not I T. Yeah, well, yeah. They, they got, got some, they got some stuff up there, man. The way that they run the or and him saying, I don't know the conduct of my organization. Y'all really was running your organization like that. Right. Oh, that's trash, man. That's that's why I say that's why I always say when I think when I talk about the Baltimore Ravens and their organization, it just ran different. Yep. And I I can imagine what's going on inside of other organizations, man. Watching yep. the football team, you got all this going on in the and I told you to get that heat off Snyder. What he do? He, he put it, he threw his man under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> and now and that and now they're retiring Sean um Sean Taylor's jersey number over the weekend. Yep. Awesome. Why is it coming now, though? Now that there's some stuff going on, I feel like they're just trying to. Me? I, they're trying man. to move around it. They're trying to move around it, like they all of a sudden. That's, yeah. It. Yes, they trying to move it. They trying to highlight something. I, I was gonna say that too. Shout out to Sean Taylor, man. Make you rest in power, baby. Yep. You know what I'm saying? One of the best safeties to ever play this game, man. They they retired retired my man uh, jersey this week just to take the heat off them a little bit yeah. more. They PR team, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job right now. They're doing a great job. But hey, they still watch, they still digging, they still digging. So we'll have Damn more. Man. We'll have more. We'll have For more. Sure. We'll have more. For sure. But now, um, before we wrap this third quarter up, we're gonna do a quick uh a little if the playoff with the playoff picture right now, if the playoffs ended or if the playoffs started today, who would we have winning games? So we'll start in the AFC. Um the one seed is the Chargers, so they would have a bye. And then the two are the Ravens, and the seven is the Broncos. So it'll be a rematch. I'll take the Ravens. I don't think there's any way the Broncos beat the Ravens. And I think the Ravens try to beat them by 50 after everything that happened last week when they played. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so it'd be the right. So say that again. Say, say, Ravens, uh, Broncos. Ravens, Broncos. Oh, Ravens, yeah, yeah. Beat them, beat, them by, beat them by 50. I'm with the Ravens on that. It, uh, the Ravens will beat them by 50. Especially what uh what uh what uh Fangio said. I know I know I know Harbaugh. He petty with it. So yep, let's get yes, it. He <laughs> yes, yes he is. Yes, he is. Um, but then for the next game, the three seed, the Bills would host the Las Vegas Raiders. I'll take the Bills. Bills winning this yeah. one handily. Um, Bills. Yeah, the Bills. Bills, yeah, yeah, Bills handling, handling Las Vegas. Um, and then the high four score, was five. Think, probably, probably a high scoring game, but Josh yeah. Allen doing his thing at the end. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the Raiders with the new coach can can kind of they play bad lately. Like like they started off real hot and they, they play bad lately. So hopefully a new coach flip it. They got a good team. Uh, like they hopefully they get some stuff going. And yeah, um, Versace gonna bring a little heat. I, I was with Versace. He a he a he, yeah. he a tough coach. So he gonna bring a little heat to him, man. So I'm looking forward to that one. That gonna be dope. Um. So now jumping into our last uh wild card weekend game, the the Titans versus the Bengals. Uh, I'll take, I'll take the Titans. I don't think the Bengals will be able to stop Derrick Henry. I think this is a Derrick Henry, 150 plus rushing yard week. Yeah. Um, and, and like I said, I got the Titans taking down the Bengals in this one. Yep. I got the Titans also easy, easy victory, man. Down and show Julio will be back from uh injury, man. Get him back on the field. AJ Brown be back. Let's get it. <laughs> so, so now we have the Chargers hosting the Titans. Chargers winning this one, a high scoring game. Um, both defenses allowing some stuff, but I'll take the Chargers yep. big in this Chargers. One. Chargers big in that one scoring points, man. They can't keep up with that offense, man. Too too high power. They're too high power. So now the the two versus three, the Ravens versus Bills. I'm gonna take the Ravens. Tough game. Um, 
but but I get them avenging their loss from last year in the playoffs to the Bills, yeah. taking down Josh Allen and, and going to the AFC Championship. Man, it's going to be a tough game, man. High scoring game, man. Tough, cold game, man. You know what I'm saying? Between the great team. But I think Lamar pulled a lot at the end, the way that he's been throwing the ball. And a magnificent, Lamarvelous, doing Lamarvelous yeah. things. <laughs> Shout yeah, out for to Lamar, sure. Man, the Ravens. I got the Ravens. You got the Ravens winning. And just like I got on paper, but Ravens versus some Chargers yeah. in the AFC yes. Championship. Yes, you do. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Um, I'll have more of an explanation after Sunday, after I can figure out who's going to win, because I really don't know. I really do I don't not know, either, know what bro. is going to happen I got, Sunday. I got the, char- I got the Chargers also. I, I don't know either, bro. I'm up and down yep. with this pick, with the Chargers, with, with, the, uh, uh, with the Ravens. But, man, that's that going to be a great AFC game. If, if we yep. break it down like that right now, that'd be a great AFC game. But I got the Chargers coming out as well. But we, we'll see more Sunday. Yep. Yes, we will. Um, so now moving on to the NFC, the Cardinals have a bye. Um, the NFC is more, I think, realistic because, like, I don't think the big Bengals will make the playoffs. I don't see the Broncos making the playoffs. Um, and and I think the Chiefs got a shot, at, a better shot at getting in than the Broncos and Bengals do. But the, the NFC looks pretty accurate. Uh, Arizona's the one seed, so they have a bye, and then it would be yeah. Cowboys are the two. Cowboys taking on the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Cowboys by a million. They Cowboys. already played. Cowboys won yep. that easily. It wasn't really – Beat them down. It yeah. It wasn't really much of a game. Um, the Cowboys are just one of the best NFC teams right now. Yep. Um, and then moving on to the three versus the six, the Buccaneers will face the Chicago Bears, who, like I said, I think once Justin Fields – takes over. I said this the preseason, the bears will be a playoff contender. And if it sticks out like this, I will have been right. Um, but I'll take the Buccaneers handling the yeah. bears. I don't see Bucks over the Bears. Yeah. I agree with you, baby. I agree with you. Bucks over the bears too much for a playoff time, time, time. It's time, yep. time, time to do his thing. Um, and then the Packers, uh, hosting the Rams. Uh, my heart. <laughs> With, with my picks earlier in the year, I had the Packers going to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to take the Packers to win this one. Um, this is going to be a tough, tough game, though. Aaron Rodgers is going to be dialed in, last dance. Uh, the only way they win this game is if Aaron Rodgers plays top Aaron yep. Rodgers football. So I'll take the Packers winning at home in the playoffs. Yeah, I got the pack. I, I'll probably say uh, Packers at home, close game, you know what I'm saying, tough game on the road. But, you know, the last dance, like you said, that's the key point of that. You're going to do whatever you can to win that game. So now the Packers will go to Arizona and take on the Cardinals. I'm actually going to take the Packers in this one too, just because I think the Cardinals are kind of right now they're five and zero, best record in football. Yep. So I can't really hate on them, but I think they've had a few nail biters that, with a few plays, could have went differently and, and would have kind of changed the record from five and zero. So I'm going to go with the Packers taking down Arizona in Arizona. Yeah, man, it'll be a tough game like on the road, man. You know, sending all that. Uh, but I got the cars, though. I had the car. I had the cars, though. Uh, taking taking care of them at home. Uh, playoff game coming off a of bye week. They're gonna be ready, locked and loaded, ready to uh, get a win. Try to get a playoff uh, playoff run. Um. So then the the two versus three. The Cowboys hosting Buck the Bucks. I'm going with the Cowboys. Uh, the the Cowboys played the Bucks to a really really close game and really should have won yep. the game. If, if I think if that game stayed, the Cowboys win that game because their defense is better now. But um. Yep. It's really a close game. Uh, Bucks just got a field goal, game-winning field goal at the end to win it. Um, but I'm going to take the Cowboys at home in the playoffs to take down the Bucks. Man, it's so crazy, man. I got the Cowboys also. Cowboys, close game, close, tough game, man. Zach take down Tom this time by a field goal. They went in the close game, you know what I'm saying, versus the Bucks. So you have Cowboys, Cardinals. I got Cowboys, Packers. I'm going to go with the Packers, I think. Last dance, it's serious. Rodgers will go. Get that win against the Cowboys <laughs> and go and go to the Super Bowl. Man, I got it. If it's not gonna be Tom, man, how Dallas playing, man, I think it's gonna be. I mean, I think it's gonna be Dak and them Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? How that defense playing? How they oh, uh, digs on a how digs is shutting down everybody. I put them on the number one. We go double everybody else. Let's get it, Dak. Dak them to get it. If they take down, you know what I'm saying, Tom them. But how Tom playing? You really don't know. So, man, yeah. it's just mid season at the game five. It's just our, you know what I'm saying, Super Bowl prediction at the game five, man. You know what I'm saying? So we might do this again in five games to see, oh, yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying, where sure. everybody at, man. But, man, it, it's going to be an interesting – like we like we said from episode one, man, it's going to be an interesting season. 
Yep, yep, for sure. Um, but now that is it for the third quarter. The next quarter we'll be jumping into tonight's game a little bit, um, and then that'll be it. So that is it for the third quarter, and uh, we're moving on to the fourth. Yes, sir. Now we are jumping into the fourth quarter. Um, this will be for tonight's game. Um, fourth quarter, baby. Fourth quarter. Let's finish strong. Get a ball to McLean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Stop about the middle. We will be uh, talking about the Tampa Bay versus Philly game tonight and kind of what we, what our thoughts are for the game. Um, but yep. first off, um, Tampa Bay's defense is dealing with so many injuries, but they still are the – number one run defense in the NFL in terms of yards per game um, and stuff like that. And and they only allow 45.8 yards per game rushing the ball, mm. which is 30 yards better than, than second place, which is incredible. Uh, but their passing Great. defense is one of the worst. That's why they brought in Richard Sherman. Uh, they got guys, Sean Murphy, Bunting, Carlton Davis, dealing with injuries, uh, Antoine Winfield's and in concussion protocols. So they're dealing with a lot of injuries on in their secondary. Um, and tonight with the Eagles, Jalen Hurts is their leading rusher. So I don't I don't really know how the how the Bucks are gonna go about stopping it, but Hurts is gonna have to step up throwing the ball if, if Philly yep. wants any chance of winning this game. Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game. Yeah, good thing about Philly, man, they're at home, you know what I'm saying? Short week, you know what I'm saying? So I know it's like a condensed, you know what I'm saying, game plan for them. So I know they're gonna try to run it a lot. But like you said, man, Hurts go ahead and throw that ball tonight to beat the Bucks if he wants to, because you know what I'm saying, like you said, man, uh earlier, man, the Bucks are great with uh, stopping the run, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and everything. But I, I think it'll be a lot for uh they'd be a great game for Hurts, you know what I'm saying, to come out, you know what I'm saying, playing against the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that Philly is eight no, you know what I'm saying, and uh eight no on Thursday night football games. They play on Thursday night a lot, to be honest. Yes, they do. <laughs> they play on Thursday Weird. night a lot, you know what I'm saying? In Philly. I know the Philly fans. Be tired as hell going to work on Friday. <laughs> I know this probably this this, this this their this their this their what ninth game. This their ninth game Thursday night game since it started. So that's crazy. It's gonna be a tough game tonight. Gronk is out tonight again. Yep. You know what I'm saying for the Bucks. So so it, it, man with all the weapons that uh Brady got, what he threw to last week, man. I think it's gonna be another you know what I'm saying good performance by Brady. I think they are gonna probably bring in probably some of the same stuff they did last week. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. And, and, and another big, big thing for this game will definitely have to be, um, you know, what goes on on the offensive line for the for Tampa and the defensive line for Philly. The oh, another big way that Philly um, stays in this game is to get quarterback hits on Tom Brady. Like, yep. get any the, team. Get that, yeah. Like like uh, the Rams did. Like any team yep. who wants to take down Brady has to realize they got to hit Brady. You have to. That's the only way you're going to beat them. And yep. and this Philly defensive line is capable of doing it. Yep, yep. They just got to get out there, Brady. Get them off that spot. They get them off that spot, man. Lock in on them receivers, man. I know a lot of speed out there. Antonio Brown look like he's finding this groove. You know, what I'm saying in the offense now. You know, what I'm saying shout out to him. You know, what I'm saying the comeback uh, uh, that that he's having. Got a great quarterback. You know, what I'm saying yep. in that offense. But uh, like you said, that D line with Fletcher Cox up front, man. Hopefully they can cause some destruction, man. Get them off his spot. You know what I'm saying? Give him some problems. Because when you do that, man, you have a chance against Brady, yep. man. But if you let him sit back there and uh, figure out what you're doing, it's going to be a long game. Ask the Dolphins. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> um, but a thing that I was just reading up on, uh, Tom Brady has said not to worry about his thumb injury that he s suffered um, when he, he hit his throwing hand on Christian Wilkins' helmet last week um, in the second okay. quarter. But – I mean, anytime injuries come up for Brady, it's definitely you be um, worried about it. Yeah, exactly. Have to be worried about it. And with this Philly defensive line, like I just said, if they can get some pressure on Brady, hit him, and, and yes, Brady sir. starts Brady starts panicking or doing whatever, this will be a different game. Like you said, in Philly, we know how those Philly fans are. So another yep. big thing, Philly has to come out early because those fans will boo. And, and, and kind of quit on <laughs> on their own team. Like Philly's fans, like are Hurts, man. They they they. Hurt. I know Hurts leading the team and rushing and everything, but Hurts just got to come on, man. You know he's yep. in the NFL now. It's not college. You know what exactly. I'm saying. You got to come on with it. And 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 hey, you got you got you QB one for a reason. So I hope yep. Nick. It's so crazy, man. I always say this, man. Nick, the head coach at Philadelphia, man. That's that's so crazy. Just being with him, yep. just 
his role uh, when I was in Kansas City, you know what I'm saying, hiding and came up and, you know what I'm saying, salute to him. So, hope yep. Jalen get my man a big win at home, you know what I'm saying, but he got to understand, man, the GOAT coming with a great uh, Tampa Bay uh, Bucks team, man. So, well, who you think will come out on top tonight, Bob? So, for the prediction, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay, but in a close one, I'm going to go Tampa Bay 34, um, Philly 28, I think. Okay. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. Um, but I think it'll be one of the games where Tampa Bay goes up and, and a lot of people think, you know, it's over and Philly fights back, fights back, and it comes down to a late possession um, where Tampa goes down the field and scores a touchdown late and then gets a stop on defense to win the game. Man, man, that's, that's so crazy. Like, I, I think the same thing. I think it's going to be a close game, a uh, tight game, short week. Uh, I think Philly's going to surprise a few people on offense tonight with Jalen, you know what I'm saying, with his running around. I think he's going to trust his legs a lot tonight. But I think uh, Brady and them going to come out on top, man, late late game, late field goal, winning 27-24. Late field goal, you know what I'm saying, by that kicker. that uh, usually always have it on Thursday night football. So <laughs> it's always crazy how how we always predict something. And it's the opposite. Them games, yeah. man, they've been live on Thursday night football, you know what I'm saying, lately, man. So – uh, hopefully, 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 man, we got another one. Hopefully, got another one tonight, man. And them, and them bugs do their thing, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so now that is it for this episode. Um, I'm gonna let Leron tell y'all what he always tells y'all, and then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Episode eight, baby. We getting better with time, man. Remember, man. Subscribe, man, to our YouTube page. Follow us on all platforms, man. Affirmation, uh. Uh, podcast on IG and Facebook, man. I, uh, I form podcast on Twitter, man. Remember, man, we're giving it to y'all weekly, baby. Weekly yep. content. We'll be back Sunday, Sunday morning live, giving our Sunday yep. picks. You know what I'm saying? Sorry we missed y'all last week, man. Shout out to the Ravens, man, doing their thing, man. Lamar Jackson, keep throwing that ball, baby. Keep throwing it, man. I'm going to be up there soon. Ben, I'm going to be up there soon, man. We're going to go live from right in front of the bank. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. You already know it. Right in front of the bank, baby. I appreciate you, man, every week, yes, bro. Sir. I appreciate you every week, baby. Yes, I sir. Form. Appreciate you, too. Yes, sir. Everybody subscribe, all of that. Um, And like he said, we'll be going live this week. So we appreciate it and look out for the live video. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. I form, baby.